getting rejected by subpar girls. <laughs> this is one of the funniest things that I could ever talk about. Um, but it's also one of the most truthful things that I could ever talk about. And um, as somebody who has a lot of experience with online dating, at least a few online dating sites, like I never did Match.com, I never did um, you know any of the real legitimate ones where you got to actually pay. All the free sites, right? I've been on the free. I've been on OkCupid. I've been on Bumble. Not that much on Bumble, but I've been on Bumble. Uh, I've been on Tinder. Um, been on Plenty of Fish. Plenty of Fish was like my go-to, right? Most of the girls I've ever dated or slept with came off Plenty of Fish, which, you know, um, that's just a fucked up site for single moms and the sluttiest of the sluts. And it just is what it is. And I've probably, you know, been on there for like 10 years, but not like constantly sending messages every day, but just passively every once in a while going on there, sending a few messages. Um, for like three years, I, I totally got off all dating sites. Um, for good reason, basically because it's just such a shit show in the sense that, you know, sub absolutely subpar girls are rejecting you, you know, like just even fives and fours and threes are just acting like tens and it's the biggest shit show ever. I can't think of anything. I mean, online, online dating, online game or whatever is just the, the biggest shit show in existence. Um, 100% you should get off. Um, I'm not saying that, like, you can never pull girls. Like, if you got really high uh, sexual market value, if you're a really, really good-looking guy and you take really great pictures and you 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 dress nice, um, by all means, go on, you know, get on Tinder, get on Plenty of Fish, and you can fuck all the little dumb sluts you want. That's not going to be most men. <laughs> That's going to be, like, the top 2% of men um most guys we, we just we don't take great pictures we're not super hot um we're just average we're below an eight we're below seven so we're fucked if you're not above a nine you should not be on online dating sites period the end end of story i mean i think about after 2014 2015 i noticed a dramatic drop in um interest that i was getting on online dating sites um, I think before that, like, I think I started in, like, 2008. So when I started for the first couple of years, it wasn't too bad. Like, I would I would get, I would send out maybe, like, 30 messages before I would get one response. Um, and usually the responses that I got, like, eh, you know, out of those responses, I say about one out of every 15 or so, I would get an actual date. Out of those actual dates, I would probably, you know, like one out of five of those dates, maybe even better than that, maybe like three out of five of those dates, I would be able to close. So if I did get her out, if I did go on a date with her, if I did hang out with her off the dating site, there was a really good chance that I was going to close uh, sexually. But again, that's like 30 messages, maybe even more than that, maybe like 50 messages, I would get one reply out of those one replies of those 50 messages i would get like one out of 15 dates that's not great at that time now you know like i said after like 2015 to now i could send out 500 messages and probably not get one response and yes it matters your you know your messages matter what you say matters um you know but what matters the most is how good looking are you and how good of pictures are you taking if you got a bullshit a cell phone selfie in your bathroom and you and you're wearing a dirty shirt and you look like shit no girl is going to respond to you even the ugliest of the girls is not going to respond to you i've had like super ugly girls try to talk to me on those dating sites because like i don't know it's just like they're nobody talks to them so they so they're actually hitting hitting guys up the only girls that actually hit guys up that actually send messages to guys are girls that are like super ugly at least anyone ever send messages to me now now again i'm probably not above a seven so you know j just being honest and objective so i'm not getting inboxed at all unless it's of the fattest ugliest girls on the site and then i'm just like oh, okay cool thanks i uh, hope you have a nice day and I, and I basically reject them but never anybody above a four 
has mes messaged me ever in like 10, 15 years, not, not 15 years, about 12 years, 10, 12 years that I've been on dating sites. Like I said, mostly plenty of fish. Okay, Cupid, for some reason, is just, I don't know if there's not that many girls on there, but I never had, an, never had much luck. I think I've met like one fuck buddy off of Okay, Cupid, one in like five years of using it. And I just, I, because of that, I just never use it. Cause it's like, I just, it's just not working for me. I don't know if it's not popular. I don't know. But Tinder never worked for me at all. It's just I'm just not hot enough for Tinder, period. It's like, if you're not the hottest of the hot, and it's just what it is, that's hypergamy. Like, if you're just an average-looking guy, you're pretty much fucked. Like, you might as well be ugly. If you're below a 7, you might as well be a 2. It doesn't matter. You're not going to get any attention. You're not going to get any play because that's hypergamy. Women don't, I don't care how much they say, oh, I care about his personality, I care about this, I care about that. Bullshit. It's your looks. 100% of your looks. And... If you're not the best looking guy, you can somewhat make up for that by taking, you know, wearing a nice suit or whatever, you know, wearing nice clothes and getting some nice pictures taken and then talk about like, oh, I'm, I'm super successful in my business, et cetera, et cetera. Um, if you do that, like, yeah, maybe you'll have a chance, but these girls aren't on there to like, I highly doubt any of them really are on there to just meet the love of their life, et cetera. They're on there to date. They're on there to hook up. They're on there to play the field. They're on there to have fun and hypergamy still exists in that scenario just because she she's not just because she's out fucking around does not mean she's not hypergamous it's just what it is it's their nature so there's that and honestly the worst thing about online dating is um what it does to your self-esteem um it kills your self-esteem because girls that like are aren't even that you wouldn't even touch you wouldn't even like hug uh, that ugly of girls are rejecting you like seriously like you can do studies you you know guys have done all kinds of studies where they post up an an, an, an average looking dude and then they'll post up a really good looking dude and, and they'll check the differences between the responses or they'll just post an average dude and then they'll take a picture of a average female and then they'll they'll see the differences in responses the average dude would get he he could send out a hundred messages himself and he probably won't even get one response back whereas an average female doesn't even have to send out any messages and she'll get 500 messages in her inbox i mean that's how nutty it is so that's what these girls are out there walking around with these girls are out there um walking around with that kind of uh that kind of overblown self-esteem that kind of sense of undeserved um uh, you know, self-accomplishment. This is why the game is so fucked up because all they got to do is go online and, and it's game over. The minute they go on any dating site, they're going to get flooded with 500 messages every single day and their their self-esteem or their sense of self-worth is, is just going to be toxic from then on. It's going to be warped from then on. So you're fucked. So really the best you can hope for is to, to go out in real life and talk to girls in real life and... Hopefully they're not on dating sites because if they are then you're fucked like they're not going to You know give you the time of day if you're not a 10 out of 10 and rich and it's just like that's how Whacked out this this world has become that's how whacked out because that's what dating that's what that's what these dating sites did Right, they just put women on an absolute pedestal. They 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 enhance gynocentrism times a thousand and, and it's to the point where you're getting rejected by subpar girls. Girls who are like barely pushing a five are walking around acting like they're tens. And it's like, bro, I wouldn't, I might not, I probably wouldn't even have sex with you. Like, like, and I'm just playing, I'm just, you know, like, I'm just um, playing the field or I'm just, I'm just seeing how you would respond and you're acting like you're a supermodel. Like this is, that's the reality of online dating is that and, and i would say that spills over into real life to what extent i don't know but it really seems like it spills over into real life that's they they walk around with this impunity attitude like they're just absolute queens when in reality you're probably not even a five out of ten in, in, in a lot of cases and it's like no you're not butt ugly but just just based on the fact that you're not absolutely burnt out you're acting like you're a queen and you've accomplished the world i mean i've seen the worst of the worst looking girls who are just so busted acting like they're tens and acting like they're queens it's ridiculous